It's today with Hoda and Jenna. And we're back with Bobby Tries It. We love this. It's where our girl BT takes on something brand new from beauty breakthroughs to epic experiences, and we get to go along for the ride. Oh, we are so happy. Yes. Okay, Bobby, what do you have for yes. us? Okay, so it's all about hair. Okay. We wear it 365 days a year, and it's personal, especially if you struggle with hair loss, which unfortunately is common for many reasons. So I wanted to bring you with me for a treatment called PRP. It was suggested to me by my primary care doctor at Bethany Medical Clinic here in New York City after I too noticed significant hair loss. And I decided to give it a try, so let's take a look. I came to you because not only was I seeing so much more hair in my brush, but my shower drain was clogging, and I just wanted to know, am I alone in this? You're absolutely not alone. It's been somewhat of a second epidemic. According to NYU Langone Health, more than 80% of men and nearly half of women will experience hair loss. I strongly believe that anyone experiencing hair loss really should come to their primary care provider as a first step. We take a look at your scalp and look for any telltale signs that might point us in one direction or another to one cause versus another cause. And then the blood draw. So we have a blood panel that looks for all the common causes. The three really big ones would be hormone disruption, autoimmune problems, and nutritional deficiencies. But the treatment isn't always the same. The treatment for hair loss really should be targeted to your own individual underlying cause for hair loss. About 50% of the time, we don't find one of those common causes. So you have to look to treatments that will stimulate hair regrowth um, directly in the scalp. There's a very effective treatment called PRP, platelet-rich plasma, that can be injected to the hair loss area. What is the science behind PRP? Platelets are a component of blood that help with repair of wounded tissue. The hair follicle that was partially damaged and not working the right way will be repaired and new hair will grow. So PRP was a great option for me. Who wouldn't be a good candidate? PRP is not very effective when there are no remaining hair follicles to restore. It's less and less effective the more hair loss you have. It was time to see board-certified dermatologist Dr. Salma Pathiawala for my third PRP treatment. Yeah, this is looking great. You're having a lot of regrowth here. The hair is thicker, there's more density. I'm so excited. We've yeah. got to take some blood. Now we're going to put it in the centrifuge, which separates the blood according to the weight of different components. The top part here is the platelet-poor plasma, and down here is the platelet-rich plasma, and this is what we want to extract. We're now gonna inject the PRP into your scalp. I feel the tiniest prick, but it's pretty mild. You can have a little bit of itching, you can feel like your scalp is swollen, and you can have a temporary headache. Those are the most common side effects, but it's a very safe, well-tolerated treatment. Okay, so third and final treatment in the books. I can't wait to see the results. So it's been three months since my last PRP treatment, and excited because oh, not only do I feel more growth here, but look, Look at this. All of this is coming in. I notice it the most when I'm blow drying my hair and you can see all of the new growth sort of flying through. I am so excited to say that this PRP treatment was a big success for me. Gross. Oh my wow, gosh, that's so very Bobby, cool. Let, first of all, at one point, I'll, people would look at you and think Bobby can't have a yeah. hair growth problem, but it just shows that you just have a good way of kind of hiding I know it. all the tricks. Yeah. I can clip it in, I can spray it, I can tease yeah. it, and that's my job, I think a obviously. lot of people with stress, we've yes. lived collectively it, a lot of yeah. grief. Stress, is an, for me, it was, it's no secret, I yeah. lost my husband, he was yeah. in the hospital for months, the stress, and for me, losing extreme weight one month, yeah, and yeah. then trying to eat healthy the next month, my body, and it then all over the place. pre menopause yeah. hormones. There are people that have medical conditions and alopecia. You're not alone if you're experiencing this because in your 40s and 50s, it's very common. Yeah. So, does your hair keep 
does it continue to fall out, but you get new growth? Is that what's going so on? For me, I would yeah. like to suggest it was recommended I take a supplement. Okay. This happens to be the one that really worked for me. For Nutrafol, you can't just take it a month and say, I don't see a difference. Yeah. I took it six months, and by like the eighth or ninth month, I could not believe, in combination with the PRP, okay. the amount of hair that was growing back. It starts really small, yeah, like I you can, see here. Yeah. yeah, but that will grow in. And then it grows in, and wow. like you saw with the hair dry, it's sort of just every 30 days, you know, your hair There's cycle, more. it grows through. Tell us what else this in case people... This is fantastic. Getting a brush. This one happens to vibrate from Manta. Wait. Of course, I'm going to bring you the newest. What is it? It's a scalp brush. Oh, it was God. developed by a husband so who scared. noticed his, his wife was going through a hard and time. And people hair come so back? So you can stimulate. You want to stimulate your scalp because oh. PRP is all about getting the blood flow and moving into your follicles. Okay. How, mm -hmm. how expensive is that? PRP, can I see you want to try it? So yes, the PRP, on average, it depends on where you live in the country, anywhere from 600 to 800 okay. a treatment, and it can go up because it's really dependent on the provider. Yeah. You really do not want to do that without having medical, you need medical, medical yeah. your doctor, but I got blood work in the beginning oh. and I was shocked to see where I was deficient. So that's why I started with a supplement for me. So go to your doctor, ask, okay. and then on my social media, I will post yes. things because I know we products. don't have this up, but making sure that you exfoliate and stimulate your scalp. By the way, this one, Myel, yeah. every 15 seconds, there's a bottle sold and 14,000 wow. reviews. It's rosemary peppermint oil. It is Wait, crazy. What is that for? What is yes, that for? What under do you ten dollars. You, you put it on your scalp, and it has really, really helped people stimulate growth. Wow, how cool is that? Topic. I love it. No Thank you. Ask yes. me on. Ask, we ask Bobby. You. Thank you, Bobby. Yeah. All right.